channel and happy spooktacular Halloween season! I hope you like my decorations. Um, pay no attention to the swatches. I just filmed a lip declutter um, that will be up on my channel soon. Uh, I am trying to, I'm trying really hard to get through some declutters in my collection, in my wardrobe, and in my makeup. And hopefully, you want to come along for the ride with me. But today we are talking about Sunday Style Guide. We haven't talked about um, new clothes in a little bit, and so I wanted to just kind of do some window shopping for you. So this kind of video is similar to the Will I Buy It series that Samantha March uh, started, or like she's, she's popularized, and this is really more of a like, what do we think of it sort of video um, instead of necessarily am I going to buy it because right now I don't feel like I need any more clothes but it's always fun to talk about fashion plus size fashion and what's going on in the world with it so if that sounds like if that sounds interesting to you stick around there is simply B is having a like 70% off sale from their, uh, they have 75%, or not 75, they have 70% off some of like the spring and summer stuff, and then they have 25% off some of the newer winter collections. So this is new from them. This is the Monoprint Illusion Dress. It's this really pretty houndstooth, um, and I really like that they've kind of broken it up with a few kind of black bands up on the shoulders and the decollete. I like that. The ditzy floral wrap skater dress, like I'm not so in love with. I feel like it's just a little too busy. You know what would have been really cute is instead of floral, if they would have made this like little snowflakes or even like, I don't know, a little gingerbread man or something, like something really Christmassy, you know, because I know it's not even Halloween yet, but you know, stores always have that kind of stuff really early. I think Costco already has Christmas trees. Like why would you want a Christmas tree in October? I don't know. Anyway. So this, however, would be perfect for holiday parties or for your New Year's Eve party, if you are starting to think about that already. This is the gold sequin wrap dress and it is absolutely gorgeous. I love this. It reminds me of a dress I have. There, I do have a video called like the best party dresses, um, the best party dresses for winter and I will link that video, um, uh, I will link the video down in the description box. Um, it, this is beautiful, I love it. I love that it is a kind of like a wrap dress. I love that it's kind of like a mini dress and I love that it has long sleeves. I can't tell you how annoyed I am when like winter, dresses that are supposed to be for New Year's Eve or winter come out and they have like, they're sleeveless. It's like, you're gonna freeze, you're gonna freeze your arms off. I don't like that. This looks so cozy. I just, I love it. It is a red check tie waist shirt dress, $31.99. I think that's super reasonable. And uh, if you don't know, simplybe.com is a website. Their brand exists in the UK, but they do have US distributors. So like they, I think they have like warehouses with their product. So it, you don't have to kind of wait for customs for most things. But this is just absolutely gorgeous. Although I do think it kind of looks like a robe. And so that's why I just feel like it's super, it's, it's very, um, it's very cozy looking but it's not, it's not over, like I wouldn't wear this to, I wouldn't wear this to a party. Like I'd wear this, you know, to do errands or go around the house or something. This one, these two animal print dresses, I think are a perfect example of how, how to, how you can do animal print right and how you can do animal print wrong. So the animal print police wrap dress, so the one that's more of like neutral tones, like earthy tones, I hate it. I hate it, it's busy and weird and like the repeating pattern doesn't make any sense. I don't like it. It's like cheetah and leopard together, which is cheetah, leopard, and zebra it looks like together. Like don't, like just pick one, just pick one. And to me, that's why the body can, body con panel sequin dress, the pink one, the pink tiger stripes, to me, that's how you do animal print. That's how you do it right. It looks gorgeous and it's sequined. This is like, this is for someone who does the most. Like you, when you go out, you do the most. This is perfect for that person. 
These are actually from Lane Bryant. Usually Lane Bryant does not catch my eye, but for some reason I just thought like, hey, you know what? I haven't checked out Lane Bryant in a long time. I should check them out. I found some beautiful looking pieces. So the belted mock neck cape, gorgeous. I think that's elegant and elegant and elevated and it makes sense that that's $79.95 because it's a design, it's a designer design. It makes sense to do that. I don't like it when Lane Bryant charges $80 for a cable knit sweater. Like it's made by machine. Like you didn't, nobody hand knitted that, you know? Um, also the faux leather leggings, I are $69.95. And again, I think that this is, I like the aesthetics of these. And you can get these much cheaper uh, at Target. So you can get a version of these. If you look at my um, Worth of Wardrobe, my last Worth of Wardrobe at Target, um, not the Halloween one, but the one where I'm in the dressing room at Target, you can see like they have, like the front of it is kind of pleather and then the back isn't. Um, sorry guys, had to go get water. So um, from these two, these are, um, buy one, get one 50% off. So if you wanted the leggings and you wanted the, um, the mock neck cape, you could get one for 50% off. So that's kind of nice. They do have a lot of the pieces that are like that where you can get buy one, get one 50% off. Do I think it's worth it? Uh, let's see. I think the leggings at Target were somewhere around $25, $30. So if you can get these same ones for $30, they're probably a little bit better quality. Um, then, you know, that would make sense. It would make sense to, to get that. But if you're really trying to stick to a budget, I would really encourage you to check out Target, um, check out their website because in store they have very limited plus sizes, uh, plus size clothing, and sometimes you can't even find the plus size section because it's kind of like mingled with maternity, which I do not like. That bugs me so much. But anyway, um, I I do like this piece and I I like it. It makes sense. The pricing makes sense. So this is the faux shirling vest though, and this one doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me because it says it's faux shirling. So why is it $109? Um, don't buy this. Wait for it to go on sale at the end of the season because this is one of those things where even if you change sizes because it doesn't button up and it's open, it's like an open front, it won't really matter that much if it's a little too small or a little too big on you. So wait for this to go on sale until the end of the season. Again, this is what I don't like about Lane Bryant. They have a sweater that has, first of all, the sweater looks like it was made, like it was made out of tissue. Like it, it doesn't look like it has any heft to it whatsoever. There's no, it's very boxy. There's no like structure to it whatsoever. Um, it's $59.95. It's $60 for a sweater with buttons. What? <laughs> Why? Now, the high heel ankle strap riding boots, uh, $99.95, those make sense. Boots are always expensive. Um, I like the aesthetics of these boots, but the heel is just way, way, way too big. Um, I would never wear those. Uh, this one, again, texture stitch crew neck sweater. I like the aesthetic. I like the look of it. But again, these are made by machine. Like these are not handmade. So why is it $70? Like it makes absolutely no sense that this is a $70 piece. You could find this anywhere else. So you could find this at Shein. You could find this kind of thing at Forever 21. You could find this thing at Target. You could find it pretty much almost anywhere else for about $30. Uh, this is kind of interesting. The belted fit and flare uh, dress and plaid. That one is $69.95. I'm not as mad about this because it is a little bit harder to find dresses in kind of this uh, plaid or window pane sort of uh, design. I'm not sure why, but I do think that this looks very nice. And $70 for a new dress, you know, for... It is pricey, but I won't say it's outrageous the way I think that like $109 for a shearling faux shearling vest is you know crazy this mixed fabric top 
<coughs> I'm oh. the mixed fabric top I'm a little bit hesitant about because I feel like I feel like they priced it ten dollars too high. It should have been like twenty nine dollars to thirty nine dollars. Like that should have been the, the the price point. I I I like these kinds of shirts because they're very easy to wear. They're very easy to mix with like skirts or pants, and you know it's very easy to kind of make them kind of make them work for an outfit. Um, I just I don't think I, I just don't think that you I don't think anybody needs it now. There are some things that I think are incredibly, incredibly just mwah. This one, Lane Bryant outdid themselves. This is the longer length blazer, double breasted tailor, stretch with faux leather trim. This looks like a tuxedo and I love it. I love it so much. It makes me think that like, I would, I want to look like I'm going to a fancy ball, but I'm one of the, like a fancy ball but I get to wear like the tuxedo and I think that would just I just I really do love that look I love menswear inspired looks I love the the tailoredness of them if that's even a word I don't know and then this is the peplum zip up jacket window pane plaid this is definitely something new and different and I really like it and looks fire with the, that skirt so these are two things that I would never, ever, ever, ever advise you to wear or spend money on. So if you like them, that's fine, but no, <laughs> no, I, it's not fine. I, I would send help. Uh, this pleat neck blouse here, it looks like, it looks like a prairie shirt that got money. Like, like if, uh, Little House on the Prairie, like, mixed with the Beverly Hillbillies. That's what this looks like. It, yeah, it just looks like a prairie, like, person who, who got oil money all of a sudden. It's just, no. <laughs> the plaid button front tunic is just, it's just a draping of fabric. That's all, it's not a tunic. It's just literally putting a bag over your body and like just stop stop don't don't do that lane bryant i used to have a dress kind of sort of like this it was more um the waist was dropped a little bit more and i had uh it was pinstriped and the pinstripes were a little bit different than this i i liked my version a little bit better um it was kind of like a chambray and this pinstripe faux wrap midi dress is $79.95. I paid about that much for my pinstripe dress and it lasted for years and years and years and years and years and years and years, and years until finally, um, I think I got either got stained or like a rip in it that just like it couldn't be repaired. It was so like old and you know, bad by then, but it was definitely, it's definitely worth it. And so if you, I love the way pinstripes look, especially on someone who's shorter because they kind of elongate the body. There will be plenty of people who tell you not to wear stripes if you're plus size. Don't listen. Try it on and see how you feel and how you like it. For me, it made me feel kind of powerful and in charge and just kind of really put together. And that's why I love that. And that's why I wore that dress so much. This one, I am, oh, I am obsessed. I gag, I gag. This one is mock neck puff sleeve fit and flare dress for $89.95. I love this so much. It's so cute and feminine and frilly, but at the same time, it's kind of angular. And I just love what they did here. I love, I'm usually never this excited about anything from Lane Bryant and I'm very excited about this. I I hope that this goes on sale and um, yeah, I might pick this up at the end of the season. Now, we can't talk about fashion without talking about ASOS Curve. So these are four pieces here from ASOS Curve that I think are very different but also would kind of appeal to a lot of different people. So I'll go through each one and tell you. 
um, who I think these would be best suited for. So the ASOS Design Curve Velvet Cami Dress and Blurred Stripe, that's going to be best for someone who's very, um, someone who's very like bohemian chic, who's, you know, they're not really worried about trends. They just kind of want to go with the flow. This is for your friend who like buys certified organic coffee and like, uh, you know, fair trade matcha and you know, whatever, um, which is not a bad thing, not a bad thing at all. I'm just saying like, that's, I think that's kind of like the personality that I would put this dress with. Now the ASOS Curve Pleated Embroidered Midi Dress, this is for your friend who loves sex in the city, who loves going out to brunch, who loves, um, you know, or even somebody who loves like crafting and stuff like that, um, who really just likes that kind of, I don't, I want to say like grandma chic aesthetic. Um, I think that this looks very nice. I, it is nice. It's something I would wear. Now the ASOS Curve Going Out One Shoulder Body Con Midi Dress. This is for, speaking of sex in the city, this is for the Samantha in your life. This is for someone who is just drips sensuality. Um, you know, they just, they like making bold statements. That's who that's for is the ASOS Design Curve Cotton Mini Smock Shirt Dress. Who is this for? Your friend who wants to be left eye from TLC. Your friend who's way into hip hop, who's way into like maybe grunge or maybe like an alternative lifestyle. This is who this is for. This is basically a garment saying, I don't care about your male gaze and I'm gonna wear what makes me comfortable and what I think is cute. And I think like all of these pieces are cute in their own way. It's just some of them are not my personal aesthetic. But again, I think that any of those four would make, would make a cute outfit. Uh, we're gonna swing by Lane Bryant one more time. They have the patent ballet flats uh, for $39.95 and cross strap high heel boots. I kind of like the sort of uh, tulip in there, but again, the high heels are just way, way, way too high for me. Uh, back to ASOS Curve. This is the Curve Long Sleeve Wrap Top in Satin, and it's $45, and I think this buckle is super cute. I think it's cute. I think that the I think that all of the little details of the shirt are perfect, and I think that's a perfect price point for the shirt. Um, this is also the ASOS Design Curve Mini Tux Dress with Buckles. We all know how I feel about buckles and tuxes. I love them. Put those two things together, love them even more. What I don't love is a $64 price tag. I don't think this quite rises to the level of $64. I think that's reaching a little bit. Uh, Simply Be again has some things that are 70% off, so up to 70% off. These are stretch jersey leggings in this beautiful like plum color. They're six dollars and forty nine cents. If you were looking for a tankini top, they have one for six ninety nine. They also have a four pack value of micro uh, underwears underoos for seven ninety nine. They have a western buckle belt or a belt buckle for seven ninety nine. Uh, western. Clothing is really in for fall right now, including like cowboy boots. So that might be, if you don't have something like that, that might be, you know, good investment. Um, this Sunseeker Wrap Front Beach Pants, I am not surprised these are on sale. They were $37.49 and now they're $8.99 because they are awful. And that is what I have to say about that. They also have some Amber Pull On Skinny Jeggings, $8.99. I'm... Not a huge fan of jeggings, but I understand why people like them. I'm just, I'm just not a huge fan. Uh, this is the Pearl Detail Circle Belt. So if you've always wanted a Gucci belt, but I mean, obviously they don't make plus sizes. Um, I know some people just like buy the belt buckle and then put it on like a plus size belt or whatever. I, I don't, I just, I don't, I don't care about Gucci. I just, I just don't care. Um, so this would be, to me, a much cuter alternative, a pearl detail circle belt, and it's only $10.99. I actually kind of want that. Uh, the wrap kimono chiffon blouse I think is in weird colors, and so that might be why it's on sale. It's 
this also is a trend for fall like let's say you want to try out the python trend but you don't necessarily want to do it in your everyday life so this is an active wear tank top and or tank uh, nope it's a t-shirt i can't read uh, it's only $11.99 right now and so if you wanted to try you know just kind of try it out see how it looks on you this might be a really good way to do it too and it's less intimidating this is something I'm just like I don't understand why I can't find these anywhere in stores uh, it's a black three-quarter um, sleeve jersey shrug from $13.99 I cannot find any cropped shrugs or cropped cardigans anywhere right now. I'm not sure why. Uh, if you're just looking for like a ruffle boxy tee, this one's $16.99. And if you want a four pack of full fit briefs, $16.99. They do come in red, like some reds. Might be good for shark week. I don't know. It's up to you. Uh, I really want the zipper front jacket. It's only $16.99 because my current hoodies, like sometimes it's really cold in our office and I'll like pull, I have a hoodie that has like um, my alma mater, so like Oregon State Beavers on it. And like I'll pull on my hoodie, but because maybe I didn't set my makeup enough that day or whatever, it like came off on the hood and I'm really mad about it. <laughs> I'm really mad about it because that's such like a beautiful like soft sweater that like the it, it's like almost like microfiber it's almost like a makeup remover towel and so because I didn't like move it away from my face enough it just like came off so I need like something that zips up uh, these I actually own these are the pretty secrets five pack waistband midi oh nope these are midi thongs I don't wear thongs um, they're midi thongs marl they're $17.99 so I own the non thong version of that pack and I love it I love pretty secrets they're very nice uh, this is the fit and flare white shirt this is something I actually would be really interested in because I no longer own any just plain white shirts they were all too big for me and this one's $20.99 so that's beautiful I also love this this is the lace insert cold shoulder top and I believe this one's only about uh, $21 right now. I cut off the price on accident. And let's see. Ah, these are something that I think you could really use in your everyday life. These are the Camilla Crop Turnip Pants from $27.99. And then these are, this is the Print Pleat Maxi Skirt $27.99. That maxi skirt would go so well with ballet flats it would go well with um like sneakers like she's wearing it could you could do all kinds of stuff these two dresses i think are perfect for different things so the ax paris wrap dress that's perfect for something that you're going to where you want to look kind of like artsy or a little bit more sophisticated right something that's just a little bit a cocktail party or something like that um, the navy floral scuba off the shoulder dress is perfect for brunch, first dates, and going to like garden parties or you know any any sort of really kind of where you just want to have a really soft feminine look. I think it's really that's really where that's for. Also, if right now is the perfect time to get a great deal on a bathing suit, the Simply Your Strap Detail Swimsuit thirty two ninety nine originally thirty seven ninety nine. And if you are someone who is going to, if you're going to get married in the next year and you are looking for something to either um, have your bridesmaids wear or you're looking for like dress options that are nice looking but not super expensive, this Joanna Hope Jewel Maxi dress is $32.99 and it would be perfect for a bridesmaid's dress like no matter what your color scheme is. And the truth is, um, so just a little hint if you are getting married, please don't make your bridesmaids buy dresses that are inordinately expensive and that they will never wear again. Let them pick a dress within like whatever your color scheme is that they love and looks good on them. One, your pictures will be way more interesting. Two, your friends won't be mad at you. <laughs> and three, it will make life just immensely easier for you as well because you won't have to deal with making sure that like everybody has the exact same thing 
it just really doesn't make any sense like it, it just doesn't um, if it's like a color within your color scheme like just just that that's it like just let them wear let them wear that these I think are the final two pieces and I love it because the 90s are back so this button sleeve denim shirt dress um, I'm gonna call this the Canadian shirt dress <laughs> it's only $34.99 and I love the name of this last one. It's the Paprika Perry Maxi Dress. I love it. It's $35.99. This is like what Elle Woods would wear if she were a character on uh, Little House on the Prairie. That's how I see it. And I just, I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it. Oh, wait, wait, wait. There's one more thing. This was also from Simply Be. The Powder Blue Trophy Blazer, $45.99. This would be perfect for winter and spring. So in the winter, what you would do is you would get yourself a beautiful crystal, like like snowflake brooch, and you could put them on either side, and you would look just so glamorous. You would look so glamorous. Oh, oh I can't wait for you to, I can't wait. Oh gosh, oh, I kind of want this now. And then in the springtime, what you would do is you would get like maybe some enamel pens with like, maybe like a Frida Kahlo enamel pen on one side and then like a beautiful um, spring bouquet of, you know, flowers, wildflowers on the other or, you know, whatever. But this would work so well for both seasons and this is a perfect investment piece. Absolutely perfect. Um, and lovelies, those are all of the things that we had today. Uh, I'm sorry, I know this is going up a little bit late, but I had to wait for all of my Apple devices to update. And so uh, I won't be getting to this editing till like noon today. So please under, I hope you understand. And I cannot wait to see you on Wednesday. Bye.